I'm Ron Fitzpatrick and over the past weekend I went down to Jim Strauss's Jeeps to film a few things and one of those was how to do install the stencils on your Jeep. Uh, paint mask is what we used. Scott Watson made those custom to your application. Um, the paint, lusterless blue draft, fantastic. The Jeep. The Jeep that we just did the video on, 33070. Beautiful paint. So without any further ado, on to how to do the stencils. I put the tape on, and then we'll measure it from here to here. And then I measure it from here to the apex of the actual round circle, because the flat numbers are, are shorter than this. Just so you know. Okay, so one of the things I'm noticing here is this is pretty close, but it's This off so you can reposition it. Put that back on. Now, I can recheck my numbers again. Make sure they're right. They're supposed to be. So, once that's done, I lay it over. Have you ever done this? No, never have. About this wrinkle here either. You have a wrinkle like that, you can pull it back and catch it back in there again so that it goes out. And you're not you're not the wrinkle doesn't really matter because it's part of the sure you're gonna pull it off. Now we'll make it official, I'll get the squeegee. So we'll show this tool right here. Let me bring it up. So then that's the first part. Then you have to now get this off of here. Got it. Like this. And sometimes you gotta be careful because it'll lift. And you gotta go back. See how I'm pulling this way, not out? Yep. So you're not pulling it right. off. Right. Right. Looks good. My measurement's right, this should be the same, but it looks like it's a little higher on this side. I don't know if the hood is, if it's me or the hood. I don't think it'll show up a bit. But. Nice. So this is done. So it's nice. Okay, now what I would do, and we'll do this one if you want to film it. So it's, uh, I'll mask, I got a mask around. So we'll come in, we'll make sure the tip is clean. I'll bring this up like this, and we're gonna do it spray. Make sure that it sprays evenly, and it looks good. Then, you know if you wanna cut it or not. Yeah. Then what you gotta do here is I gotta go back now. I'm gonna check and make sure all my seams, I don't know if you got it on now. Yep. Make sure everything is sealed. Because this will lift if you walk away for a while. I usually do it right before I spray it. Make sure that's all done. Now you gotta spray light coats with this stuff. So three or four coats you think? Yeah, so what I do is I would spray it like that. And that way it tacks and if it won't fish eye. Perfect. If you spray it too fast, it'll fish eye. You can need to keep building on fish eyes. Perfect. So you see how that's drying down already? Yep, I do. The other thing is, is you don't wanna put it on too much because it'll be so thick that when you take it off, it'll be a huge raised painted tape line. Perfect. So it's about tacked up enough. See, I can touch it. See that? Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. 
So now I'm going all the way across too. And I stop and let it go, sit again. Because really it's just, actually what happens is this color punches out off that green real fast. It doesn't need a lot of build. Got it. See now I can see how it's dry enough. I can just yep, about touch sure it. Sure enough. And I got to start back here a little farther because I'm too light on the end. Neat. I'll let it sit. Uh, you can feel it. You yeah. can feel it. It's but dry. it's drying. Yeah. yeah. Good. The trick is to get this shook up so the talcum is evenly, evenly distributed because that way it's not shiny because there's talcum in here and that right. makes it dull. Dull, right. Yeah, so let me try it again. And see, I'm going all the way past it. Yep. Nice. It'll probably take two more. Okay. I'll do one more and then I'll show them. You, you turn this upside down and spray it on there. It okay. cleans it out. Okay, so let's see here. So I'm gonna give it one more across here. It looked like I got it pretty even there, Ron. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. So then what I usually do is I hold Let it me up zoom out. Okay. Okay. And then I turn it upside down. I'll try to get it to it usually cleans itself once it's upside down. See? Oops. There it goes. It started to go. Spraying upside down pretty good with Ron. Okay. And also make sure your tip is clean. For the next time okay so after it's painted i usually try to take it off while it's still a little soft or green so that the edges cut nicely and roll back down without a sharp jagged edge if it dries too long and not to allow the paint thickness to be too thick that it bridges across the vinyl and creates a bridge that will then tear when you lift the vinyl off so that you can get a nice sharp edge for the letters to stand out so then what I do, you got it on? Yep. So pull this away, pull that away. Yeah, and then pull this away. This all away. Right. Remove all the paper first. Let me get this one up here, like that. This one off. Like this. So then, grab a little edge and you peel it up evenly, and you kind of weed it off. this you can grab some tweezers no big deal no see that yep perfect. and I stick it to this as I'm doing it so it doesn't lay back down into it see how this is gonna come around here yeah perfect see how this is because your zeros are gonna stay inside there so we'll have to weed it out got it See how I'm holding it, everything kind of crimping it together so it's not laying on the paint. Sure. Sometimes I'll throw this away so the wad gets too big.
That, my friends, is how stencils are done. Remember, we carry the best paint on the market. I stand by this paint. I love this paint. This is fantastic. And remember, hit the subscribe button, the Jeep in a crate on the lower right corner. You will not be disappointed. Thank you.